Coming up on JAG News. These people want your vote. Who will you choose to be the next student body president of South Mountain High? And our new leader has a musical side. We get up close and personal with the principal. And these girls are swinging into action. South's golf girl team gets a new life. But first, a South Mountain student and champion boxer dies after an assault in his own home. We look back at the promising life of JAG Nation's own Alexis Urbina. Coming to you from the Broadcast Center at South Mountain High School. It's JAG News Now. Good day, Jaguar Nation. I'm Sol Hernandez. And I'm Zenia Aquiles. Much of South Mountain still continues to mourn for senior Alex Urbina, and it's our top story. Police continue to investigate the death and grief concerts are on campus to help students. Jaguar News reporter Kevin Ixtabalan brings us more on this remarkable young man. By all accounts, 17-year-old Alexis Urbina was a popular student at South Mountain. But in the boxing ring, Alexis was also a fierce competitor. Earlier this year, he won the Junior Olympics National Championship in Spokane and dreamed of winning a gold medal in the Summer Olympics in 2016. This is an interview he did with Univision back in May. Because every day I wake up thinking of boxing and wanting to be someone in life. I always have that mentality. That dream was cut short when the police say Alexis was attacked at home Tuesday. Friends say no matter what, he will always be a champion. We also checked Urbina's Twitter. It reflects his love of boxing. His username was Alex Alexis Urbina KO. On August 29th, he was sick but tweeted, Ugh, I just want to go back to training. The day before that he cheered boxers competing in the world championship saying, Let's go USA, bring back the gold. Crisis services will be held throughout the, throughout the day on campus. However, funeral plans for Alexis haven't been set. We will have much more memories of Alexis next week on JAG News. An update now on the story we first brought you last week on Jaguar News. 16-year-old Gladys Washington, the South Mountain Junior who had been missing since August 16th, has returned home. Dean of Students, Ms. Gutierrez, says Gladys is safe and sound. It's election day here at South Mountain, and Jaguar News reporter Jose Contreras shows us the candidates running for student body president. There are three candidates running for the top office at South Mountain High School. We talked to all of them. Here's some of the answers to some questions you might want to know. I wanted to run because I just feel that South Mountain could use a makeover. Like we really need to pump up the school spirit and um, giving students more of an opportunity to express themselves. I've noticed throughout the school that we have um, a lack of traditions and a lack of unity within the student body and my goal is to improve that. I'm really hoping to be promoted to president because I've just been in here so long and have all the experience necessary for it. I think what's unique about me as a candidate is that I don't necessarily uh, pick on one class. I want to focus on the class of 2017 to the class of 2014. When I'm elected president, I'm guaranteed to make sure our school becomes more involved because our school lacks that very much. And I know all the requirements and everything that needs to be met. And I know the school's problems and I know how to handle them. Remember, student body elections will be held today during both lunches here at the Quads. Make sure to cast your vote in because every vote counts. For Jaguar News, I'm Jose Contreras. There is an easy way you can become a hero. Give blood. South Mountain is hosting a blood drive Tuesday, September 17th from 8.30 in the morning to 1.30 in the afternoon at the new gym. Most impressions about principals are that they are mean or strict. Some even say that they are distant from their students. I had the chance to discover that our new principal at South Mountain High School it may be older, but is still young at heart. South Mountain's new principal, Miss Lucretia Williams, needed no introduction for our very first pep assembly. She took the mic and surprised everyone with a song. She says that practice can only make you better. I think that just over time, the more hours you put into something, the more time that you put into things, you just get better at it. She says believing that you are made for something can become your biggest motivation. 
My motivation is to make an impact on the community and students and make sure that students get the best education possible. Although she's the principal, Ms. Williams has a young spirit allowing her to relate to her students. And I feel like, you know, um, I connect a lot just because I'm youthful of feeling because I think you're only as old as you feel. So I'm always looking for a way to connect with students because I'm always... Meeting our new principal may seem scary, but many of the students should know that our new principal is just like you in many ways. Miss Williams was also a principal at Boston High School. Not many people know the importance of recycling, and that's why we have a recycling club on campus to help improve the campus and help the environment. Reporter Armida Cepeda talks to the sponsor of the recycling club to tell us the importance and recy of recycling and its benefits. The Recycling Club isn't a club where you just sit around and talk about recycling. It's a club where you are active around campus two days a week. Seven years ago we started the club. We didn't have a recycling program. We didn't have a recycling bin. Um, and so I felt that we needed one. So my classes started the club and we kicked off the recycling program for the whole district. And now the whole district recycles. South Martin's Recycling Club is one of the luckiest in our district because we have our very own recycling compactors on campus. And we have one of only two uh, recycling compactors on our campus, which means we can recycle even more because when it gets full, we just smush it down. So it's a huge deal that we have one of only two in the district here on campus. The district has given out awards for the school that has the most recyclables each month. And South Mountain's Recycling Club has won a few from the past. If you see recyclable trash on campus, pick it up and recycle it. Also, if you are interested in joining the Recycling Club, meet up in Miss Walden's room, Class 200, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, right at the beginning of 8th hour. I'm Armita Zapata, reporting for Jaguar News. The Jaguar Varsity football team has their first home game tonight. And girls badminton team is also seeing some action. Here's Jaguar News sports anchor, Eric Aldal. The Jaguars Batman team has had a rough start to their season. On Tuesday, the team had a match against Algarfria High School with the score ending at 6-3. Maryland Sukoscu and Victoria Chavez won their doubles matches together, while Sienna Montoya and Gabby Hernandez won their singles matches. They have a home match today at 4 against Combs High School, who will show up and cheer those girls on. The freshman girls volleyball team had to forfeit their first two matches due to lack of players. On Wednesday's match against Westwood, the JV team was not able to pull out the victory. As for our girls varsity team, they took all three sets of the match, winning the first set 25-19, the second set 25-13, and for the final set 25-12. The varsity football team had an exciting game against Alhambra. They were able to get down the field and get the first score of the game. With the entire team cheering each other on, it was not enough as they were unable to take the first win of the season. In a very close game, the final score was 34 to 33. Be sure to come out tonight as they host their first home game of the season against Saguaro High School. It has been a decade since South Mountain has had girls on the golf course. But as some players discover, the road back can have its bumps. Girls golf is making a return for the 2013 fall sports season. But before they hit the course, they first made a stop to pick up some of their own clubs from a man whose entire yard was filled with golf equipment. When they finally made it to practice, it was not what they expected. It's difficult and nothing like what I thought it would be. It is just the first year back, so they are looking to improve throughout the season. And that's it for sports. Thanks, Eric, and that'll do it for this week's edition of Jaguar News. You can catch our show on SchoolTube or our sister website, Southwinds Newspaper. That's southwindsnewspaper.com. The South Mountain guitarists perform at the Latino and Culture Center during First Friday Art Walk in downtown Phoenix tonight at 7. They'll play us out with a variety of strumming you'll hear. See, See you, you next week. week.